and we're back guys welcome to tennis in a minute i'm your host good energy i'm in the studio today and we are taking a look at my top prospects for the 24 season and number two on this list ladies and gentlemen boy is she big time she is the only person on this list to be a champ champ that's right ladies and gentlemen a champ champ singles and doubles junior slam champion from the usa robin montgomery robin entered the u.s open girls draw in 21 as the seventh seed the number one seed was victoria jimenez casanseva the number two seed was alex ayala the number three seed was diana snyder the number four seed was ann delomano the fifth seed was linda favertova the sixth seed was christina dimitruk and of course, Robin was the seventh seed, and the eighth seed was Ocean Babel. Other notable names in the draw included Mira Andreva, who was eliminated during qualifying competition, and Brenna Favertova, who was eliminated during the first round. During the second round of competition, Robin Montgomery found herself faced with qualifier Annabella Zhu. Robin would win that 6 2 6 love and advance to the third round. In the third round, Robin would face one of her toughest tests in the U.S. Open Junior Girls draw. Robin would find herself in a three-set thriller with Natalia Sizabanin. Robin won the first set 6-2 but would lose the second set 7-5. But Robin would step up, going to her forehand, her left-handed cannon in the third set, winning 6-4 to advance to the fourth round of the singles draw. In the quarterfinal matchup, she faced the top seed and the overall favorite to win it, Victoria Jimenez. Robin Montgomery played her best match of the tournament, defeating the top seed in straight sets 6-3, 6-2. Robin would then advance to the semifinal match where she would take on another top 10 candidate on this list, Solana Sierra. Robin would be tested again. She would drop the first set 6-2, but she would win the second and third sets 6-3, 6-4, advancing to the championship match. Taking on the number six seed in the championship match, Christina Dimitruk, with the overall home crowd backing Robin Montgomery, she would win this championship pretty easily. 6-2, 6-4, and that would make Robin Montgomery the 2021 US Open Girls Champion. But she wasn't finished yet. Partnering with fellow American Ashlyn Kruger, Robin Montgomery would find herself in another slam semifinals. And again, she would have to go through Victoria Jimenez Casanseva and her partner, Mantiga Del Omo. After defeating them in what was a pretty easy match, winning 6 1 7 5, Robin and Ashlyn found themselves in the championship match. And they would take out fellow Americans Reese Brandt Miser and Alvina Kaliva. They would win that in a third set tiebreak 10-4, making Robin Montgomery the official champ champ in singles and doubles for the 21 US Open Girls Championships. Congratulations, Robin. Robin Montgomery is 19 years old from the nation's capital, Washington, DC. She plays left-handed and her favorite shots are two-handed backhand. She's coached by Eric Nunez. She has three ITF championships and she has a 60% win rate so far for her short career. Overall, her ITF career has been pretty short, but then again, if you win the US Open Singles Championship and Doubles Championship, why not turn pro? She decided to turn pro earlier than most, but I must mention she's made 13 ITF Championship appearances and she's won seven of them. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Oh, and did I mention? She's also Coco's bestie. Coco told us in Washington, D.C. there are several girls she's come up with during the junior circuit, and they've all had to endure so much, a lot more than what other players are faced with. But Robin Montgomery is proof that hard work and dedication, you can achieve anything. The reason why Robin Montgomery is number two on my top prospects list, not only is she the only person on this list to be a champ champ in the same year, but she joined the pro circuit after having a short ITF career because she has something that a lot of players on this list do not have. And that is the physicality to be able to endure the power of the adult women on the main tour. And her career so far has been proof of that, ladies and gentlemen. 
During the 22 season at the Indian Wells, Robin Montgomery went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kaya Kidnappy, winning six service games and showing that she could handle the power of one of the strongest aggressive baseliners on tour. She would then head to Miami, where she would win 16 service games off of Anna Kylan's Kaya, including a shocker, winning the first set outright. She would then head to Midland, where she would take out Diana Snyder in qualifiers and go three sets with Katherine Seboff. But listen to this, during the 22 season, Robin Montgomery went 36 and 16. But listen to this, of those 16 losses, she only had three where she did not win at least four service games or a set outright. This shows that Robin Montgomery, if she loses, it's going to be a pretty competitive match despite. For the 23 season, of the 22 losses she had, only seven of them included matches where she did not win at least a set or four games. Robin Montgomery has the power to compete with the adult women on tour and she's shown that. Oh, and must I remind you, San Diego WTA 500 event where she took out Zhang Shui in the first round of qualifiers, Bernarda Pera, and she went toe to toe with her bestie, Corey Coco Golf, the number three ranked player in the world and the top ranked American. Robin won six service games off of Coco and she showed you that she belongs on the main tour. And let's not forget what she did at Miami this year. She took out Anna Bogdan in the first round. I was there watching that match and boy, whoa, did she show Anna Bogdan her power. That was an amazing victory. She would then head to the second round of the Miami Open where she won eight service games off of one of the strongest baseliners on tour, Madison Keys, who has spent nearly a decade inside the top 10. She also made the semifinals at the Gaiba WTA in Italy where she took out Taylor Townsend in three sets, Laura Pagassi in three sets, Yasaline, who is a very powerful left-handed baseliner, in straight sets and she would make the semifinal before losing to fellow American and former doubles teammate Ashlyn Kruger. She also had a very impressive run making the semifinals in Montevideo where she took out Romero Gomez. And listen guys, Robin Montgomery, even though her career has been pretty short, she's shown that she prefers to play on hard. She hasn't had much experience on clay and to go to Montevideo and take out Romero Gomez, a pretty solid clay player in straight sets. And what about Tabarda in straight sets? Another good clay player. And Albon in straight sets, another good clay player. Now the match with Diane Perry in the semifinal, Robin Montgomery was up a break. She had the tie break won, but she did make a few mistakes that caused her to lose that first set tie break. But she was very competitive against another solid tenured clay player now robin has seen her career high in terms of rankings this past fall season at 143. i feel this year if she does well at the master events and the slams we could see robin break the top 100 and possibly make a wta final and win it all like i said previously robin's one of the few players on this list that's a slam champ champ and i feel she has the power unlike a lot of ladies on this list to compete consistently on the main tour with adult women. We've seen that in particular with the match she played against Coco Vandewe, which was amazing. Coco's a former top 10 player, and she's a junior slam winner. She's very strong, physical, and Robin being from Washington, D.C., she has a lot of experience of practicing and playing with a lot of the top tier Americans. When Robin's played main tour matches, she served very well, averaging just under five aces while winning about 64% of her service games. She's also showed mental maturity and mental toughness, saving about 60% of break points that opponents have had while facing her. I think Robin's gonna have an amazing season, her best season yet to come. Robin Montgomery, champ champ from Washington, DC. This is going to be the year she goes deep into a main draw and possibly wins a WTA title. Tennis in a Minute, I'm your host, Get Energy. Show some love, like the video, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned for number one.